In this video, we will walk you through an example of pulling the BD Rhapsody system libraries for sequencing. If you're working with a sequencing facility or provider, make sure to discuss their requirements and recommendations prior to pulling your libraries. The first step in this process is to ensure you have the most up-to-date sequencing calculator. You can ask your local field application scientist, sales representative, or contact the Multiomics help desk for the latest version. With the sequencing calculator open, choose the configuration that matches your experiment. This will open a new tab where all the calculations will take place. In this example, we are demonstrating sequencing library pooling for targeted mRNA plus AppSeq plus sample multiplexing experiment. The cells in columns B, C, D, and E are there to help keep track of important information for your experiment, including library index used, concentration, and average fragment size. The libraries will also need to be diluted prior to sequencing in accordance with the facility you are using. In column I, the desired molarity concentration can be added. In this example, we captured 5,000 cells, so we will add that information into cells J9, 10, and 11. Column K is where the number of reads per cell is added to calculate total amount of data required and also the pooling ratios for each library. The sequencing depth requirements depend on several factors, such as the cell type, gene expression levels of the sample, and the type of assay used. For example, a whole transcriptome analysis or WTA assay may require higher sequencing depth than a targeted assay because WTA is a non-specific assay that may contribute to more genes with shallow expression levels in a library than a targeted assay. The sequencing calculator includes general recommendations for sequencing depths at the bottom of the page. Please consult with a local field application scientist or contact the Multiomics help desk if you have questions on sequencing depths. Since our experiment is for a targeted mRNA assay, we will choose a sequencing depth between 2,000 and 10,000 reads per cell for the mRNA library. We additionally use a templex of AppSeq antibodies and a few sample tag antibodies. Please note that the reads per cell requirements for sample tags is not dependent on the number of sample tags used, unlike the AppSeq library. A shallow sequencing of sample tags at 120 reads per cell might be enough for certain samples, depending on the uniformity of the cells used in the experiment. However, when in doubt, we strongly recommend that to designate 600 reads per cell for your sample tag library to obtain high confidence demultiplexing of your samples. Keeping these recommendations in mind, we will input the reads needed per cell in column K. Be sure to confirm the library type in column B when doing this. In our example, we will use 5,000 reads per cell for the mRNA library, 10,000 reads per cell for the AppSeq library, and 600 reads per cell for the sample tag library. When we add these numbers, we find that a total of 78 million reads total are needed to reach the sequencing depths we want. Firex is required when running our libraries on most Illumina sequencers and the sequencing calculator will have the recommendations for this as well in column I. Taking everything into account, a yes or no will be displayed next to the type of sequencer that can generate enough data for your experiment. So, in this example, we can use Nexus 550 or higher. Please note that our sequencing calculator also provides loading concentration recommendations for some of the Illumina sequencers based on our experiment. These are meant as starting points when loading the libraries for the first time. Now that the calculations are complete and keeping in mind any requirements from the sequencing facility, dilute the libraries to the same molarity prior to pooling. 
based on the number of reads assigned to the various libraries. The pooling ratio will be calculated in column M and the volume of each diluted library to pool in column N. Based on this pooling ratio, take aliquots from individual diluted libraries to make the BD Rhapsody System library pool. If the sequencing provider you're working with requests individual diluted libraries, please skip this step. Your libraries are now ready to sequence. For any questions on how to use the sequencing calculator, please reach out to your local field application scientist or contact the Multiomics help desk. Thank you for watching.